When I joined the PC Master Race, I was promised girls, fast cars, and money. Okay, maybe not money, or girls, but I did go in expecting free online and cheaper games. But how was my first year as a PC gamer? As a former console-only gamer, was it worth it? Before we go on, if you want to know what system I play on, click the annotation at the bottom of the video. So, my first year as a PC gamer has been very good. I have more games than I know what to do with, and I've spent far less money on building my game library on PC than I would have on the PS4 or the 360. Graphically, the PC has blown the doors off the two consoles that I own, but that's kind of expected given the prices involved in building a gaming PC. But like I said in my PS4 first impressions video, the PS4's graphics are no slouch. But that hasn't been enough to keep me off my gaming PC, as I've found the performance on PC to be a lot better than the two consoles I own. In fact, since building my gaming PC, my 360 has seen next to no action, and I've even let my Xbox Live expire with no plans to renew it. I think I can count the number of times I've turned it on to actually play it on one hand. Yeah. Exclusives aside, the PS4 sees almost no action these days as I buy all my multiplats on the PC, just because, to me at least, it's the better experience. Free online, better graphics and cheaper games means for me, PC gaming has delivered. I do use a controller on PC because hey, I grew up with consoles. But I am trying with the keyboard and mouse. Sure, when I've had friends over, the games consoles have come out to play, but almost all other times I've been gaming on the PC. It hasn't all been plain sailing though, I did have software issues for quite some time on my PC that caused random reliability problems, and that's something that just doesn't happen on consoles. But as of right now, something somewhere along the line has been patched or updated which has fixed my reliability issues. My PC was also built to handle Blu-ray discs, so it really does have my entertainment needs covered. Entertainment aside though, the speed and performance offered by PC gaming is something I felt I should have experienced a long time ago. I've also really liked being able to open up my PC and just mess around in there. So as someone who grew up with consoles, was it worth it? I'd say yes, yes it has been. It's been a learning experience and definitely not as easy as plug and play, but it's not as unapproachable and expensive as some people make it look. If I was able to build my first PC a year ago and have it still work now, it can't be that hard. And yes, you can hook it up to your TV and play on that if you want to. In fact, I think I have a video somewhere where I did just that. Consoles still have their place though, and me personally, I'm just waiting for Uncharted 4. This has just been a quick overview of my first year as a PC gamer. Have you decided to try PC gaming properly for the first time? How have you found it? Share your experience in the comments below. If you liked this video, click the like button. Be sure to share, follow, and all that good stuff. Subscribe if you don't want to miss my upcoming PlayStation 4 how-to videos, game discussions, and gadget show live videos. Or if you want to, check out my Xbox 360 how-to videos if you need help with that. I will catch you next time. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado.